welcome back to Draga, where we tell a dumb story using even dumber drawings. I am your drawing master, Caldwell Tanner, joined by Legsy, Regina, and Roxa, AKA the Ladies Book Club, fearsome warriors who have made their way into the heart of Porphopolis. How are we feeling, my friends? Hype. Yeah. Hype. Pretty strong right now so after much. that intro. Ready to fight. Choo, choo. Hype train rolling into the station. You three all have tickets. It's time to go into the business class uh, <laughs> where the conductor is waiting to give you a recap. I'm the conductor. It's me. Here's what happened on the last episode. Here's my ticket. <laughs> I, I'll, thank you. Yeah. Punch. All right. So last time we met, union advocate and champion of better business, Ludwig Vindersoll. Mm -hmm. No, he's reformed. Don't okay. worry. He's on the up and up. <laughs> informed you that the only way to truly kill all hands is to enter the rift located in the center of Porphopolis and slay the demon in its own realm, the realm of corruption. To aid your journey into the city, Ludwig summoned Crankenshaft, a goblin mechanic whose love of automobiles is matched only by their passion for parenting. Crankenshaft helped you create a monstrous vehicle capable of surviving the trek into the frozen waste surrounding Porphopolis. And so, after huffing some gnaws and stacking some babies, you took off, plowing through the pitch white tundra. After several successful cow scoops, you arrived outside a mysterious bank building known as the Soul Exchange. Inside, you found a shiny marble floor engraved with a circle of ancient runes. Inside the circle, all hands appeared again and urged you to continue your heroic exploits. The demon then summoned one final foe to test your mettle. The runic circle began to glow, transforming into a giant portal through which two clawed hands emerged. And that is where we are now. Ooh. All right. What do those hands belong to? Who those hands belong to? I hope it's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> friend or foe, who could know? Except for me, I know, and you're about to find out. From the marble portal in the center of the soul exchange, a beast slowly rises. As it takes its form, you realize it is the very ice dragon that froze all of Porphopolis. Oh no. Mm -hmm. A chilling wave washes over you. <sighs> it is a foul beast whose terror knows many names. Eternal blizzard, frozen monarch, the chilling grasp of absolution, snow cone. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of that one. <laughs> yes, that is the most common vernacular with which they are known. Now, a beast this terrible takes special talent to render, which is why I have, of course, called upon the abilities of the one and only Karina Farrick. Oh! Karina! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Joining us live from New York, Karina Farrick, dragon expert. Hello, Karina, how are you today? I'm good. Hello. Hi! I'm a dragon now. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. I sent Karina an email that just said, you're a dragon now. <laughs> <laughs> the email we always want to receive. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, you're getting paid to be a dragon. Um, Finally, my dream. <laughs> are you ready to create Snow Cone, the fearsome beast that froze yeah. an entire city? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, all right, um, let's get right into it, huh? All right. Wonderful. So we're starting with sort of the Snow Cone shape. Yes. The sort of round. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just big round. Um, do you all have any experience fighting dragons? Uh, <laughs> we fought some some wyverns at Darkmouth. Right. Yeah. yeah we, like... we were told repeatedly it's not the same mm -hmm. as a dragon. <laughs> the dragon, the wyvern itself said that? Yeah, they were very clear. Mm -hmm. Like, it's different. You have to know the differences. <laughs> it's very offensive if you call a wyvern a dragon. I think wyverns have like just the wings and legs. Yeah, they got wing arms. That must be weird. Like, I, do you think that dragons rub that in at parties? Of course. They don't go to the same They're parties. Like, Here, let me get that for you. Oh. <laughs> They're just like handing beverages back and forth, juggling probably. Ah, man, to be a, a fearsome drake ruling the skies but not able to juggle, what's even the point? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing some. Big Aww. eyes. This is, not, is looking uh, <laughs> a little less fearsome than maybe I initially thought. Aw, buddy, oh, hey. you froze the whole city. 
Snow Cone, um, three intruders have entered your realm. How do you feel about this? Well, that's too bad for them. <laughs> Just freeze them. Well, shucks. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't want to fight Snow Cone. Oh, so ferocious. <laughs> wow. What a little terror. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at those big, those eyes are so big. I feel like they have to have some hypnotizing properties. Oh, definitely. Snow Cone, what are your most fearsome abilities? I can freeze whole cities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty that's pretty scary one. It's yeah. big, that's good. I can freeze things by looking at them. Just by looking? With my giant eyes. <laughs> Don't look too deep. They're full of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. The icy stare. <laughs> Do you make snow cones, though? Oh, he's got whiskers? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> when you puke, <laughs> okay, is it soft serve? Oh, how'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, which flavor soft serve is it? Um, it's the one where it's the twist between the vanilla and the chocolate. Wow. That's my favorite. Mm. That's oh, that's so a pretty good, good one. <laughs> Thanks, it's my bodily fluid. <laughs> I'm a dragon. Just all in one, just right there. Oh, he's really, he's really rearing Look up, ready that. to pounce. <laughs> just like, like literally doing like the cat yoga stretch. Yeah. yeah. Doing a cat cow before uh, she destroys you all. <laughs> oh yeah, there are those claws. I just love picturing these claws coming up over the thing, mm -hmm. and then this little face coming out, and it's just <laughs> eyes, 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 <laughs> eyes, eyes. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah, the face comes out last. It's a fun little surprise. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like when you draw a dragon, mm -hmm. it's either uh, most, it, there's like three types of dragons you can do. Right. You can do like <laughs> dragon that looks like a dog, dragon that looks like a horse, or dragon that looks like a cat. Uh, Karina's obviously gone with cat dragon, which I'm a big fan of. What happened to lizards, Caldwell? Mm -mm, mm -mm. I feel like most of them were lizards. <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> How did you make it this far as an artist without knowing this? <laughs> you take a lizard body, put a dog head on it, or horse head, or again, <laughs> cat head. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then like to head. disguise the fact that it's just a weird cat, put some scales on there, scales and a tail. There you go. Just a quick art tip for what? you. What are horse dragons? Yeah, what are you talking about? Well, you know, they got yeah, like the which long one is round. that? I think that's, they, it's just like you draw a dinosaur face. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. You it's draw... exactly, no, it's got like the kind of like jowly bit that a horse has and then like the long snout part that a horse has. You're just thinking about ponies. <laughs> <laughs> I've got ponies on the brain. <laughs> Is that a... Oh, the tongue, the little tongue. <laughs> oh. It's blepping. <laughs> if, if an ice it's dragon, serve horns. its tongue is so cold, it always gets frozen if it, if it licks a, a telephone pole. <laughs> yeah, like when this dragon's like licking its own skin, it goes like. Oh, these horns. Oh, they're little the swirlies. The serve horns. Uh, girls, how are we feeling about fighting this beast? I mean, <laughs> this must be how Snow Cone froze Borbopolis, because no one was going to stop it. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are you going to do? Uh, Snow Cone, do you have any known weaknesses? That's a good question. <laughs> Clearly, no one stopped me yet. <laughs> Here I am, being a dragon. <laughs> I love it when dragons <laughs> proclaim proudly, I'm a dragon. Here I am, I am a Dude, dragon. I'm a dragon. <laughs> oh shit. I'm loving it. <laughs> Living my best life. <laughs> Roxa pulls out her monster book and she's just looking at a picture of a dragon and looking up and just like <laughs> trying to make the connection. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to circle that square. <laughs> yeah. In, in some Werka, the more ferocious a dragon looks, the less powerful it is. Absolutely. It's the cuter you get, that's that's how you can <laughs> yeah. tell how much power it has. Yeah, the most fearsome dragon in all of some Werka is just a Hello Kitty plush toy. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do? Kill me? I'm adorable. <laughs> I make soft serve with my body. I'm a dragon. <laughs> If you eat the soft serve, you will be <laughs> under snow cone spell. <laughs> oh, it looks so good, though. It's very poisonous. <laughs> Does that mean that Parker might secretly be a dragon? Parker? Parker is pretty cute very and pretty tiny, small. Very tiny, very cute. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, we'll have to see. Power's Parker, unknown. Powerfully Parker, bad. Parker is powerfully bad, but Parker's also been like warming up. Yeah. Well, like literally since meeting you, Roxa, Parker has been like warming up both in strength and personality, I would say. Yeah. I think that like you've had a lot of chats with, with Parker. Yeah, I'm trying to show him the world, you know, mm -hmm. get him to meet new people, maybe, you know, learn some things, maybe make less bad voting decisions. <laughs> and just really just getting out of your comfort zone, getting out of your bubble, mm -hmm. you know, getting out of the giant tree uh, whose roots encircle the globe yeah. will really help you expand your horizons and your worldview. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got a little mane. Look at, oh my gosh. Yeah, because <gasps> sprinkles. Cause again, sprinkles. Sprinkles, mane. <laughs> sprinkles in my mane for my body soft serve. I don't want to fight you. It's one you. of my dragon things. <laughs> I want you to be our friend. You don't need to freeze the whole city. You don't need to fight us. We could be buddies. But you showed up in my place and I'm a dragon. It's what I do. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> well, thank you for apologizing. No problem. A lot of reluctant foes on this journey. <laughs> That's the true lesson. Oh, I love those little cuffs. This is a fan. This yeah. is clearly royalty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm a dragon. I get cold. <laughs> Gotta have my cute little accessories. Sorry, I'm getting a little chilly. <laughs> a little <Aww>. chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my tongue is frozen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh. Here's the portal from where I emerged. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> In the portal is just a little cat bed. <laughs> yeah, where I sleep, kind of dragon sleep. And a litter box just full of frozen yogurt. Mm. <laughs> Amazing. Um, are there any more details uh, that you'd like to add? I think this is about it. Yeah. Like this gives you the gist of my dragon life. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not freezing cities and instilling terror in the populace, uh, what do you do, Snowcone? What do you do for fun? I like cooking, <laughs> which is kind of difficult because I'm an ice dragon. Yeah, I would think. So. A lot of cold dishes, mm -hmm. like a gazpacho. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I make a mean gazpacho. <laughs> Can you also it's fire got a gazpacho? sprinkles on it. <laughs> no. I'm an. <laughs> I'm an ice cream dragon. <laughs> I'm pretty limited to soft serve and snow cones. <laughs> Throughout all of Somewhereca, you've heard the legend of this terrifying ice dragon, but that was actually a mistranslation. It is ice cream dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Amazing. why people keep messing these things up, but here I am. I'm snow cone. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are. Yay. Yay. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, uh, now that this dragon has emerged uh, and made itself known, uh, unfortunately, you have to roll initiative. Aww. All right, I guess. I rolled a two. I got a 16. Boy. I got a 19. 19. Nice. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you ready to draw first, or would you like to? I'll draw first. first. Awesome. Let's do it. Um, and of course, Snowcone, Karina, you're welcome to hang around uh, and uh, intimidate our players as they draw. I mean, of course I'll hang around. I'm a dragon. <laughs> Dragons love to hang. I live here. <laughs> Dragons guess. love to chill. <laughs> nice, Caldwell. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Roxa, before you go, can I use an item? Go for it. Oh. Um, I would like to use the trick hat. <laughs> Yes. Because I do want everyone to have to put a, a little hat okay. on either the dragon or themselves. Should uh, Snowcone go ahead and draw the hat now? Um, I think we each of us can can like give that. can give Snowcone a different hat. Cool. I think okay. it'll be a little fashion montage. I for like Snowcone while well, we're fighting. Oh, that's so nice of you. Mm -hmm. I like to imagine Snowcone is just trying on different hats <laughs> while we're fighting because this is kind of. You know, not not their main priority mm -hmm. of right. the day. Snow Cone is definitely bored, accessorizing. Yeah. So, the hat is in play. Yep. Roxa, uh, whatever you draw must contain hats. Okay. I have a question. Of course. Can I use more than one item myself? You cannot. Um, if you wanted to use, like, one of those dud items you got, uh, like the splish bottle and an item, I'd allow that, but it's only one item and one sketchcraft uh, per session. All right. 
So, um, Roxas, uh, looking at this, uh, dra dra dragon. <laughs> uh, so I'm a dragon. <laughs> I don't know how many more times they can say it. I'm sorry. Um, and, you know, uh, obviously a big fight, wants to get ready. I, I think Roxa uh, pulls out the splish to get hydrated, mm -hmm. but um, she can't really open it by herself. She doesn't have the tools. This um, looks like a job for Parker. Parker! <laughs> Parker, if you could. Our pony. Hydrate me. My pony, Parker. <laughs> I have Pony. to remember which the, way the it goes. Cap, it's the, the front, it's the front knee the and the chin. The front knee. It's it's for everyone Don't at pour home. It on here. It's the kneecap <laughs> and the horse's head that you use. Naturally. Naturally. All right. Just okay. like when you're out on the range. <sighs> Crack open a cold one. So. Crack open a splish. The Let splish me get a doesn't sip taste very switch. good. It's nice room temperature. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Got to make sure the uh, the logo is facing Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Ooh, get that product shot. Oh. The aftertaste, I think, is even really better. made my eyes water. Mm -hmm. That's a spicy drink. <laughs> May I? <laughs> it tastes kind of like a mm -hmm. like a spicy apple. Mmm. Mmm, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's flavor. It's uh, definitely energizing. Yeah. Hey, what if you could drink uh, the root of a tree? <laughs> yeah, basically. So, Wonderful. Uh, she has a, a drink of the splish, you know, also, because uh, all those uh, nuggets have been, right. uh, all those nuggies have been hurting my tongue. Um, um, and also, mm -hmm. you know, she's got to get something to balance out, like the nuggets, because it's not as she's been eating, really, for a little right. while. So she reaches uh, into her pocket, and she remembers that she has an apple. Oh. And so she just eats it, forgetting that it's actually a uh, Fursona apple. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that's so, terrible. Yes. Oh, my god. So um, Whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie I've accidentally doodle. used the uh, Fursona apple. Everybody has to wear hats. This is going to be great. we got to get two adorable <laughs> animals fighting. They're wearing, wearing hats. Wearing little hats. <laughs> uh, just as a reminder, the Fursona apple turns you into an anthro animal. You roll a D8 to determine which animal. Also, you get some of that animal's powers. And that was uh, suggested on the Discord by uh, Kazi. Thank you, Kazi. OK, I've got my random list. I'm going to roll a D8. Oh, that's not bad. Um, <laughs> some of them are bad. Some of them are bad. <laughs> uh, for this episode, you become a fox. Yeah. Fox, cool. fox, fox rocks. rocks. I'm a Whoa, fox. Nice. <laughs> Snow cone reaches out their hand for a high five. Yeah, can I get a high five? I'm a dragon. <laughs> yeah, we get in there. Slap hands. Hell Your hand yeah. instantly freezes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, I let's... have to design rocks as a fox. Rocks the fox. This is like a new cool rocks. Rocks the fox. Yeah. I love it. So while you're doing that, um, did you all, you all took a sip of this splish? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. While you were opening the splish bottle, a couple of drops of this liquid landed on Parker the keychain. <gasps> uh, and you see Parker begin to glow. <gasps> Parker? And they transform into a pony. A real pony? A real life bottle opening pony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is incredible. He's going to get a hat, too. <laughs> Absolutely. And hats for everyone. You see Parker goes, I fulfilled my purpose. Um, <laughs> oh, he's a talking pony. <laughs> Hi. OK. Um, Were you like a pony that got trapped? I was a... trapped. I see. I had to open 100 bottles, and I've done it. Wow. That was the hundredth bottle I had to open. <laughs> That's a weird curse. <laughs> it was. It was a very mild curse by a very incompetent wizard. <laughs> what did you do to the wizard that made him want to curse you? I bit him. Oh. <laughs> I bit a wizard. I guess you, you learned your lesson. Don't bite wizards. Don't bite wizards. <laughs> if there's one takeaway from this entire series, I think, 
our audience could learn. It's mm -hmm. don't bite wizards. Don't bite wizards. Or just don't bite people, because you never know who could be a wizard. You never know That's who could true. be a wizard. His hat looked like a bottle. <laughs> I wanted to open his cap head. <laughs> but it turns out he was magic. <laughs> That'll get you every time. Look at this powerful fighting stance oh. that <laughs> Roxa is in. Now, <laughs> she's ready to go. <laughs> Look at this Courage the Cowardly Dog looking fox. I yeah. love it. <laughs> um, I really thought you were going to do like a full fursona, but this is just like werewolf rules where you've just transformed it into the beast itself. Well, maybe her back legs are still human legs. <laughs> just sort of doing a little sit. <laughs> yeah, doing that sit that some dogs do where their legs just go... Yeah. 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 Splayed out. <laughs> should, should she still be part human? You uh, think? I think that's up to you. She's got the hair. Yeah, the she's hair, got the hair. The hair she's makes got, an anthro. She's got a tie. Right? She's got the tie. She's got the outfit. Yeah. yeah. I do have a question I realized we did not establish um, for Snow Cone. Uh, what, how big are you? Because, like, in the drawing you've done, it looks like you could be either enormous or very small. Oh, I'm super big. I'm a dragon, silly. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly question. Here. Come for it. I'll add oh, in for a little scale. person, a little, a little human person. Wow, wow, yeah. Oh, that's no good. I'm really big. big. I'm a dragon. <laughs> How big do you think I was? I don't know, like Pomeranian size? <laughs> no. So Snow Cone, after you froze Porphopolis, what uh what have you been doing? Just Ch chilling. Chilling. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That's reasonable. That yeah. tracks. That's what a, an ice dragon would do, is mm -hmm. chill. Mm -hmm. Uh what it, what's like a typical chill day? I wake up in the late afternoon, make some Gaspacho. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of hang out in my city. That's mine because I froze it. <laughs> That's dragon rules. And yeah, Let's do whatever I want, make some soft serve, scratch some of the sprinkles out of my giant mane so that they land on the soft serve and sometimes on the gazpacho. <laughs> How does a sprinkle affect the flavor of gazpacho? Is it, is it more just a cosmetic addition? I think we can all agree that sprinkles don't have much flavor. Sure. It's really just an aesthetic. Legsy writes that down for, <laughs> I just add some sprinkles to some, maybe sprinkle omelet? Sprinkle omelet? Hell Ooh, yeah. yeah. What would you call that? Spromlet. <laughs> <laughs> the most appetizing name of all. <laughs> The spromlet. Can I have a spromlet? <laughs> it's got like spinach in it, like spring greens. <laughs> it's got sprom in it. <laughs> you know, it's sprinkle spam. <laughs> sprom. Oh, that sounds good. That does actually sound good, in fact. <laughs> I'm genuinely down. Like rainbow spam? Yeah. I don't know if it like tastes sweet or like sprinkles at all, but just like spam is already the most artificial meat possible. So yeah, yeah. they could do anything they wanted. It's just with one it. of those. It's one of those unicorn foods that are all the rage. <laughs> you know, yeah, like rainbow pasta. Oh, it's like you have like the brick of spam, and then you cut into it like in an Instagram video, and you see the inside, and it's got like rainbow <laughs> coating. Rainbow oh, swirls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Regina, you should be writing this down. Oh, for Insta. For Insta, Insta points. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You, you know, the food angle is not one I considered. Yeah, you take you take some pics of the foods I make. Yeah, Legsy, maybe there's like some uh, some teamwork. I mean, in if this. we survive this ice dragon and then the demon we're going to fight after this dragon, <laughs> it seems unlikely, but we can hope. You know, if we do, let's let's definitely make some plans that that yeah, can't yeah. be thwarted. Let's easily. totally make some plans. Let's totally do it. You yeah. know, let's really just do it. I think this is the best time to make these plans. I think so I'm gonna too. Put it, I'm gonna put it in my <laughs> my uh, my ham phone, my Gregory ham phone calendar. Gre calendar reminder set. <laughs> Take pictures of food with your friend. <laughs> Thanks, Ham. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Haven't talked to you in a while. How, how have you been feeling about all the stuff that's happened? I have been feeling bad because I have been spying on you. Right. Because of Ludwig's grand plan, but I have been released from my duties, so now I can just chill out and relax and eat some gazpacho soup. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably bad for phones. Does but... anyone have some gazpacho <laughs> soup? Covered in spring. I have some. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> you want me to just dip you in there? Dip I... me in the soup. Okay. <laughs> it's a bowl scale to me. <laughs> I do some sweet flips up the side of the bowl. <laughs> dip yeah. my phone in the bowl. The soup 
just goes right in through all the cracks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? <laughs> I feel like I have been jailbroken. <laughs> you can now download third-party apps on me. <laughs> oh, sweet. Well, what are some of those apps? <laughs> Minesweeper. Triple R edition. Oh, where the minds are all um, <laughs> testicles. Butt. Testicles. Yes. <laughs> Good. It's a very sensual game. I'll have to play that later. Where I'm not fighting an ice dragon. <laughs> Set a reminder to to play <laughs> testicle minesweeper. Of course, reminder set. Thanks. Would you like to hear about more apps that I can download now? <laughs> if if you want to tell me about them, for sure, I would love to. Free money, the app. <laughs> that, that doesn't that sound sounds pretty good. Doesn't sound like a scam, yeah. <laughs> it Lexi, is. it's free money. It's free money, yeah. All you have to do is fill out several surveys, <laughs> and then you get the free money. And also, <laughs> a B comes out of the port. The, which which port? Which port? The charging port. A, a bee? bee? A single bee. I, I don't want that one. I've had enough bees for one lifetime, thank you. The other app that I... If I never see a bee again in my entire life, it'll be too soon. I have one more app that you can download now. Okay. It is called Hot Phone. Uh-huh. It makes me very hot. Oh, that might actually be useful, fighting an ice dragon. Yeah, yeah, download that. Okay. Download now, Hot Phone. Now downloading Hot Phone. Okay. 40 days remaining on download. <laughs> this isn't gonna make it in time, I don't think. <laughs> no, it, it, sometimes it speeds up. It, like the, the day counter goes down faster than it initially. I just gotta find a, I just gotta find a, a hot spot. 200 days remaining on download. Oh, it's, it's going a cold up. spot. It's a cold <laughs> spot because of the ice. Because of this ice dragon. <laughs> yeah. I am detecting very weak cell signal service because of all of the ice. Yeah, ice. <laughs> It's bad for cell signal. <laughs> I read that. I did, yeah. This ice is acting as a giant Faraday cage. Do we still have all of uh, Crankenshaft's kids that they left behind with us? Uh, why don't we do a roll? Okay, to see how many kids are with see us. How many kids are left? Yeah. <laughs> is that a D20? Yeah, I think D20. I don't want them. I got nine kids. Nine kids! I stack <laughs> the nine kids and stand on top of them and hold my phone up to see if I get better service. <laughs> <laughs> 39 days remaining on All downward. right, <laughs> progress. Cool, I'm just gonna stand there until it's my turn to draw. <laughs> Those kids are just so stackable. <laughs> Super stackable, it's weird. They oh. like lock in place really well too. Yeah, and they've all got hats now. Oh, wow, look at you. You high-fiving? Look yeah. at you and Parker. I think um, I think Rox is not gonna be of much use as a tiny fox, mm -hmm. unless you like, <laughs> Weaves in there and kind of trips up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the snow cone dragon. Um, so there was a high five going on before, so Roxa just tries to get in and just, Are you please trying to don't use, like, break me. Animal Hell friendship? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Snow cone, what do you think about this, uh, this relationship between two beasts? I like this absolutely tiny animal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> It's so small compared to you, a dragon. Because <laughs> I'm I'm huge, I'm a dragon. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> it's just beautiful. See, I think that like a kinship forms between you and Snow Cone. Yeah. Uh, I, I like can't this punch. furry creature. <laughs> I can't punch as a fox. No. Foxes don't really have the bones <laughs> for punching. Yeah, they kind of just they can they can sweat. <laughs> sweat. Sweat. Swag. And that's it. Um, so Roxa mm -hmm. just, she's like, oh, God, I can't believe I forgot about the apple. <laughs> kind of high fives and tries to drink out Thank of her you. splish. I think you three are like preparing for this battle. And Rox is like, oh yeah, and takes a bite of the apple and is suddenly just a fox. <laughs> Lexi and Regina look over and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably could have used you for this one, Rox, but. Uh... Guys, it's still bad. You keep <laughs> drinking it. I know, I keep forgetting. <laughs> it's got a real tang to it, a real strong tang. Yeah. Um, so uh, I'm trying to remember who's next in the order. I believe it was Legsy? Yes. All right, uh, are you ready to draw? I, I guess. Cool. Um, so are, are, we're taking a non-violent approach to this dragon it because it's, so. it's much more powerful than us. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we've got, it's sort of, it's down there high-fiving. I've got my stack going. Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, maybe, uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's, let's get this. Think on it, brainstorm a bit. Yeah, let's, uh, anybody got any <laughs> ideas of what, uh, what, what I could be doing to help uh, the situation? <laughs> Guys? I don't know, but you gotta remember the hat. I do have to remember the hat. Yeah, don't forget that. Uh, I do, I do like seeing uh, Nathan's take on this cute dragon. I think yeah. everyone just wanted an excuse to draw a cute dragon. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's real sweet. <laughs> so, Snow Cone. Yes. Um, how are you feeling about this fox who has befriended you? How are you feeling about these like strange beings in your lair? Um, you're a fearsome creature who has frozen an entire city, and yet these small, insignificant beings are trying to befriend you? Are trying to like forgive you for all you've done, even despite how terrible you are? What do you think? I'm so flattered. Thank <laughs> you. You guys are so silly and small. <laughs> I love it. Why did you freeze the city to begin with? You're a real pushover. Huh? <laughs> Why did you freeze the city I to begin with? Because I felt like it. Oh, it I was see. too hot. Aw. I wanted it to be cold. <laughs> I'm a dragon. I do what I want. That's fair. Yeah, that seems to be the gist here, is mm -hmm. that uh, Snow Cone does what Snow Cone wants at the time. At the time. With no thought to future or past. I don't think things through. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure things will be fine. I'm a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Legzy, um, you're someone that's recently learned a little bit of impulse control. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could help Snow Cone try to master uh, her impulses <laughs> to freeze My cities what? and murder millions. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it. I learned it from Roxa. I learned my impulse control. I learned mm -hmm. that you know, if there are people you care about, mm -hmm. sometimes doing the thing that's in your nature, uh, you should think about it before you do it because it might affect people in ways you, you weren't anticipating, you know? That's so if you, an interesting opinion. If you, like, <laughs> if you like this cool fox that's high-fiving you and, and their cat friend, <laughs> maybe, maybe don't destroy us or freeze us to death. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It has been a very long time since I've been high-fived. And I do like getting high-fived by this absolutely tiny fox. <laughs> Imagine an entire world full of people that could high-five you because they're not frozen in ice. But I like my ice city. <laughs> Uh -huh. Getting real nervous. Just trying to adjust your tie. Yeah. <laughs> Getting real nervous. Clawing like... at it. Uh, so I, I guess this is the most helpless Rox has ever been. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, she's feeling really insecure because she can't punch her way out of a situation. She has to trust her friends, which is fine. She trusts her friends, but mm -hmm. also just like, but she's so small. Yeah. Not being able to help your friends. Yeah. Trusting them is one thing, but not being able to help, yeah. that's another. All um, because of a, of a stupid mistake. <laughs> you know, this is the danger of eating too many nugs. Yeah. Um, Lexi, what are you drawing? Um, I made a giant spromlet is it, is for, it, for snow cone. Is it pre-sprinkled? Uh, I took some of the sprinkles that fell off of snow cone's mane. <laughs> Thank you. It's um, like my dandruff. And I used, <laughs> I, I made sort of like a, a, an egg paste using some nugs. <laughs> Using some of the eggier nugs we had. <laughs> sure. Uh, our cow friend, I got them to give me some some creme fraiche. Mm. Uh, a little, let's get a little dollop of that on top. Little, yeah. the sword cow, you mean? Yeah, yeah sword, sword cow. Sword cow. Course, sword cow. Um, <laughs> and are these two of Crank and Chef's kids helping you carry the omelet? Yes. Aw, such teamwork. Yeah. Now, to Snow Cone, you are all so small. It must just look like this plate is like magically hovering towards her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize anyone was underneath it. But that's cool too, I guess. <laughs> Aw. I like that Snow Cone is kind of looking past the omelet. It's like Snow Cone hasn't like noticed that it's there it's yet. It's hard to t it's hard to draw the <laughs> here. Here. No. It's gonna notice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the noticing. It begins. <laughs> Still only vaguely looking at it, but yeah. It's closer. That's the other thing about Snow Cone is they're so big that all their movements are like very slow. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm very agile like a cat, but also incredibly slow. <laughs> <laughs> also, I see you've tried on a little cowboy hat. Oh! That's like a hundred times What's cuter. What's a cowboy? <laughs> but that's so exciting, thank you. You see, uh, Snow Cone, if you survey your dominion, you'll see an entire frozen rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> Those were cowboys. Oh, I get it now. Snow Cone slowly learning that there are consequences to actions. There are other things living. <laughs> I just wanted it to be cold. Yeah, I made sure this omelet is served cold. Uh, this omelet is served cold. <laughs> wow, thank you. There's nothing people love more than cold eggs. I mean, you can you can request it served warm mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Cold eggs. <laughs> if you get it served warm, they just bring it with a hot phone on top. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, how far along in the download is, is hot phone? How many days left? 39 and a half days. <laughs> okay, went up a half. Oh, yeah, because the stack got shorter because we, mm -hmm. we, we had to make the omelet real quick. Yep. It's you, a spromlet. It's a spromlet. <laughs> Don't uh, get it twisted. <laughs> oh, I love this pose that you put uh, snow cone in. Yeah, I feel like uh, Roxa calmed Snow Cone down enough mm -hmm. that I was like, okay, let's see if we can curry some favor. Mm -hmm. She had to get down real low to high-five me. <laughs> or, in this case, some flavor. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. You did it. The wild thing about all of this is that All Hands is watching this unfold, and the demon is thrilled by how dumb the solution is. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make our souls tastier? Not We're not tastier. More, uh, more valuable. Succulent, yes. Your value grows. It takes a dumb solution to solve a dumb problem, <laughs> like this dumb dragon. <laughs> the whole world of Somewhereca is pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All Hands definitely designed this dragon in a way that would make you gain its trust and better the world. <laughs> Aww. I have a question about the apple. Yeah. How long does it last? You know what? Uh, we haven't used Boxy in a while. Okay. Um, why don't you do uh, a guts roll to see if you can break the curse of the apple? All right. Am I using a d20? Yeah. Cool. Boxy roll. Boxy time. Uh. Oh. Six, seven. I have a 26. 26. That's pretty good. Um, you slowly start to break out of it. Um, I think, obviously, by the end of the session, you will be back to a normal uh, elven form. Oh, cool. But now you're like half <laughs> elf, half fox. Now you actually do look like a furry. Yeah, <laughs> great. <laughs> and we, if you, if you do fan art of that, be sure to tweet it at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like really cool. It's actually... Because of the fact that you're like in between states, it just does look like you're wearing a fur suit. <laughs> like you've got like the eyelids that work, and it's uh, it's a little uncanny, but yeah. it's pretty dope. Great. Yeah. Very you're kind excited of into about it. this. Yeah, because you have like prehensile thumbs now, uh, but still claws. So like, I don't know. It's kind of a kind of an improvement on some regards. You put a top hat on the spromlet. <laughs> yeah, everything has to have a hat. Of right? course. That's, wow. Oh, look at this scene. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> this is wonderful. I love this. Uh, Snow Cone, what do you think about the Spromlet? I'm thrilled. <laughs> it's been so long since someone's cooked for me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of nice. Aw. When was the last time someone cooked for you, Snow Cone? I don't know, before I froze the city or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... You feed Snow Cone this tasty, tasty spromlet. Mm -hmm. uh, she gobbles it up and, and seems, you know, for a, a frozen dragon, warmed by the gesture. Aww. Yeah. Yay. Um, and that brings us, of course, to Regina. So Regina sees all of these gestures of friendship mm -hmm. and knows that, you know, she's got to make the finishing friendship blow. <laughs> right. And what better way to do that than to, to draw something that all three of us come up with together. Ooh. So Gina casts Chaotic Creation. Yes. The level seven wisdom spell. Oh my gosh. Uh, with this one, all players speak words of a phrase to determine what is drawn. Oh my goodness. Um, do we want to get Snow Cone in on this too? 
Yeah. That would be the, a long the more phrase. The, the more oh, the well. merrier. All right, okay. So the way this is going to work is we're each going to speak one word in a sentence, essentially, um, and then Regina will have to incorporate that into her drawing. Yes. Okay. Um, Snowcone, why don't you start us off, and then uh, it'll go to me, Legzy, Regina, Roxa. Does that sound good? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Trombone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Got oh, you. Why don't we let Snowcone start? <laughs> <laughs> Epiphany. Trombone epiphany is <laughs> a <laughs> revelation. <laughs> Trombone epiphany is a revelation. Of course, of the course. ultimate <laughs> act of friendship. <laughs> Trombone epiphany is are, a revelation. Our three woman trombone act. <laughs> Oh my God! Are we gonna get Trombone Epiphany back We're together? We're gonna get Trombone Epiphany back together. <laughs> wow! We haven't done that since sophomore year. I know, we've, but I've we ever felt closer. <laughs> <laughs> you three had an intense ska phase. <laughs> sophomore year of Darkman. <laughs> trombone Epiphany rides again. <laughs> trombone Epiphany is getting back together, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Rox yes. is still in her fursuit, too. <laughs> I've got a lot to handle so here. She has a fursona suit playing a trombone. It looks so fucking cool. <laughs> Furry ska is my favorite genre. <laughs> Furry ska. How Furry do you ska. know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Got to get into this. Oh, there they are, all lined up. Trying to recreate our, you know, <laughs> classic album cover. Um, <laughs> now, how many shows did Trombone Epiphany play back in college? We got about halfway through one <laughs> before we were made to stop. <laughs> Who made you stop? Well, it was one of those situations where maybe it wasn't the right venue. It was during a funeral. <laughs> and the fact that they let us get through half, I think, is honestly a pretty big compliment to the music. Yeah, you, say, yeah. you got us the gig. <laughs> Yeah, I, I got us the gig. I thought I thought it was a pretty. I thought it was very respectful the way you animated the bones of the deceased and had them <laughs> play along with us. I thought so too, but some people don't feel that way. It turns out. It was true that by the end of the song, or I guess by halfway through the song, uh, all the skeletons in the graveyard were doing the ska dance. They were picking it up, <laughs> they, and they had also put on little fedoras. Of course. Which I imagine is what you'll be drawing on everyone's head. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> How do trombone mouths work? How do trombones work? Let's get some lips. <laughs> How do brass instruments work in general? Trombones are wild, and now I gotta draw one. You have to <laughs> raspberry. Have to draw three. Yeah. You it, gotta do a <laughs> at them. It's so weird that like humans invented an instrument that you play by farting with your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was too many people were farting with their mouths, and so mm -hmm. someone was like, can we have them do something productive with this? I imagine it was like, in ancient Rome or uh -huh. something like that, uh, somebody was like playing with some like brass tubes. They're like, "Hey, Aloysius, check this out!" <laughs> and they were like, "Holy shit, that sounds amazing! <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do this all the time. We're gonna use this to start battles and shit. <laughs> it's gonna be so good." Oh, and um, in the Spromlet, I put that Danish that I took from uh, oh. from the office inside the okay. Spromlet, just looking at my inventory, seeing what. <laughs> What other what bullshit I can include, yeah. We're, um, we're almost done. We gotta, we gotta get it all. I'll do a roll. Doing a roll for, for Danish? Mm, it's a perfect 10. Uh, if, if I had gotten like a 19 or a 20, uh, I probably would have said the, the Danish had like some sort of uh, friends or coercion spell. No, we're not trying to magically influence this dragon. We're, it's gotta happen naturally. You're right. That's how real friendship The only works. magic here is the magic of music, baby. <laughs> yeah. And that's gonna take us all the way home. The energy of this drawing, it's like, you're so excited to play the trombone, but there's also like a sorrow to it. <laughs> just, I mean, we swore we would never return <laughs> yeah. to trombone um, epiphany. Yeah. We got a real stern talking to by the family <laughs> after that performance. Mm -hmm. It just left a real bad taste in everyone's mouth. It, it was really stern, but it was just one word. It was just the family being like, why? <laughs> why? Literally, why? <laughs> None of us had a good. Why? Yeah, I, 
I like <laughs> just looking at R- Regina. Like you said, you said they knew. You said it was. <laughs> They're just saying why, why, why <laughs> over and over again. They can't say any other word. <laughs> All right, we should, we should, we should just go. We should probably get. We out should of here, probably yeah. just leave. I think this is a better venue, honestly. You know. <laughs> you see the. Like this dead grandpa going like. He was really good. Yeah. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> Rox, how confident are you in your ability to draw trombones? What? <laughs> Do you remember what trombones look like? No. <laughs> yes, maybe. It has bone in the name. And you are a bone the slidey mage. one. <laughs> that is the slidey one, yes. <laughs> You know what? Never mind. I got this. <laughs> That's almost a punching. I motion. will. I will say that if you don't get the trombones right, I will absolutely lose my mind. Oh no! no. <laughs> this is the make or break moment. <laughs> well, let me just say, some Warrican trombones mm. may be a little different from the trombones that you're used to. Mm-hmm. They're in, stupid. Uh, they're really stupid, yeah. first of all, and they don't make any sense as to how they work. Yes, and, um, go on. And they're they're kind of more like like big bugles, <laughs> uh, which are notoriously easy to draw. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the other thing. Is yeah, we we were just these are just vuvuzelas. <laughs> <laughs> we still we are acting like we were playing ska, but we were just playing one note. In I'm look at you know it's. Those rose-tinted glasses for looking back at those college days, it was just the one, none of us knew how to play <laughs> an instrument. We just, yeah. we just. <laughs> Picturing us at a funeral, <laughs> just going <laughs> While the skeleton of the deceased <laughs> skanked perfectly. It was an epiphany. It was an epiphany. <laughs> trombone epiphany. Mm-hmm. The epiphany was, oh, these aren't trombones. <laughs> this isn't ska. Uh-oh, we're bad. <laughs> and that's an important epiphany to have in college, to be like, I'm bad at this. I shouldn't do this. <laughs> I shouldn't do this thing. <laughs> There's some things I shouldn't do, and this is one of them. I hate this Roxa. <laughs> you mean Foxa? Foxa. <laughs> I hate this Foxa. <laughs> You do look like the makeup that someone in like a TV show would wear when they were like turning into a werewolf. Yeah. And it's like not good enough. In like a low budget movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Now, do you think that your song has gotten any better? Well, we haven't practiced. <laughs> and we never really did <laughs> mm-hmm. to begin with. I mean, this was before I took my bard elective. That so. is true. So maybe you're a little better. Yeah. But I think um, me and Rox are worse enough mm-hmm. to balance that out. Good. Good, good, good. I wouldn't want it to be too different. <laughs> this is truly, I like it when the final challenge is actually hard. Uh, and for like drawing, <laughs> having to render a trombone or a trumpet or whatever it is the fuck you're drawing. <laughs> it's a Somewhereican <laughs> trombone. Of course, of this, course. This does look like an album cover. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I'd walk by <laughs> this album in the store and say, huh. I wonder who this is for. <laughs> Probably not for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> what, Weird. <laughs> what was the name of Trombone Epiphany's album? Trombone Epiphany's first album? Because yeah. the new one's going to be called Revelation. Absolutely. I'll yeah. tell you that much. Mm-hmm. Got to be. The first one was called Inhalation. <laughs> that's what you have to do to play the somewhere can trombone. <laughs> a lot of... Well, you, you breathe in? <laughs> you have, yeah. Yeah, you have yeah, to breathe a, in. It's a really <laughs> bad sound. It's just like... Wee! <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, it's bad on the ears. Oh wow, look, look at that stinky rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. They also smell <laughs> terrible. It really amplifies whatever your breath is, and I don't. Have we brushed our teeth since we left our I, apartment? I don't mm. think ever canonically. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I mean, you have to say it. <laughs> yeah, you have to say it. <laughs> you have to say, it. say, it, to say it, or it doesn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think the nuggets have any like. Teeth healing properties. No, the nuggets are bad the nuggets for are breath. Bad for your breath, yeah. your teeth in your mouth. I mean, I, I ate cat food. Let's not forget. <laughs> I've vomited a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That acid is not great. And that, it's not good. And that dream tea. That wasn't mm-hmm. good either. Yeah. It's a real mess. Our mouths are really telling the story of our whole adventure <laughs> yeah, right absolutely. now. Absolutely. Mouths. <laughs> they tell a story. And maybe <laughs> that that smell story will touch the nose of Snow Cone. <laughs> and they'll I really don't know, understand. I'm very tall. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and but maybe that's for the best. <laughs> See, see how well it pairs with the Spromlet, the <laughs> smell of <laughs> of adventure. I'm not any more of this. No, this, I is, this is perfect. More than enough. Um, Snow Cone, how do you respond to these sultry trumpet notes? Notes? Wow. <laughs> how do you respond wow. to this <laughs> One single, note. <laughs> chunky note? It's the most beautiful song I have ever heard. Yay! Yay! Our first good review. <laughs> Snow Cone doesn't know what trombones are or what ska is or how what music sounds like. <laughs> she just guesses. So she's loving this. <laughs> I'm sure it's bouncing off the ice in like yeah. a cool way. Oh, the acoustics like, in here are great. Yeah. 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 Sounds real cool. <laughs> What happens is you hear the acoustics from uh, the ice. It's like a beautiful music hall. Uh, this single note echoes everywhere. Uh, Snow Cone joins in with a big, beautiful roar. Sprinkles flying everywhere. Uh, and the reverberations cause the ice to start cracking. And you see the ice starts to crack on Snow Cone, too. Um, and what? Snow Cone starts to cry a little bit out of the beauty of what's happening. Oh, are there big, big eyes? Yeah. It's, so many tears. It's so wet. It's <laughs> so wet and so giant. moist. My tears are giant. And you see that the icy facade of Snow Cone cracks off, and underneath is a pure rainbow sprinkle dragon. Oh, <laughs> even cuter. <laughs> even cuter. <laughs> Uh, and Snow Cone's icy exterior has been melted. You have defeated Snow Cone. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Snow Cone, how do you feel about happened. your new form? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but this is pretty sick. I love this aesthetic. <laughs> yeah, you're sparkling. You've got like... <laughs> You've got mostly sprinkles. It's like basically a, uh, a scale coat of sprinkles, but then you've also got oh, some of those like, yeah. you know those weird little like metal balls that people put in ice cream sometimes? What? what? I don't what? know what you're talking about at all. Does anybody here know what I'm talking about? What, like about? real metal? That doesn't sound edible. It's like the edible metal that sometimes you put on like what? cookies or something. <laughs> it's for like decorating edible like a Christmas cookie. <laughs> Like gold leaf? Cut this! <laughs> Cut it! <laughs> Our normal! <laughs> My customs are good! Someone pranked you into eating metal, it's dude. It's not metal! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's edible! It's just like shiny, it's just got a sheen to it. So you it's mean, just like little shiny You mean those edible balls. pearl things? Yeah, those are edible pearls. Uh, why'd you say metal? Because it's shiny! <laughs> It shines as metal does. You use it to like, I don't know if you're making like you a little no toy concept soldier of cookie. what is and isn't metal. <laughs> All right, Snow Cone dies. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> peace out, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Snow Cone's beautiful uh, rainbow coat uh, reflects in the sunshine as the, the buildings begin to melt. You see uh, normality beginning to return uh, to Porphopolis, but there's still a lot of big chunks of ice remaining. It mm -hmm. seems like maybe there's some sort of deeper, darker magic underlying uh, the, the initial frosting that Snow Cone provided. Mm -hmm. But uh, you do see that Snow Cone feels as if a curse has been lifted from them, uh, and they seem relieved. Uh, Snow Cone starts to flap their wings, and as they do, uh, sprinkles fly everywhere. It's oh, like they're a... so big. Oh, they're so big. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Snow Cone, as you take to the sky, do you have any parting wisdom uh, for our friends here? I will say that I have learned very little, <laughs> and I'm still very stupid. <laughs> but your kindness and friendship has really, truly, and literally warmed my heart. Aww. So thank you. Thank you. Yay. Thank you, Yay. Snow Cone. <laughs> and you see Snow Cone flies into the air just raining enormous sprinkles down on everything. <laughs> oh, boy. Crushing buildings. <laughs> Absolutely still a dumbass dragon. <laughs> but a dumbass dragon with friends. Thank you so much to Karina for joining us. Amazing work. 
Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we will see you later. Enjoy your time as a sprinkle dragon. I will forever. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye. All right. Wow. That was lovely. That was lovely. What a heartwarming time. <laughs> Who would have thought an ice dragon could be so warm? Oh. Makes you think. Makes you think. <laughs> Makes you feel. Makes you feel. Makes you real. So. <laughs> <laughs> have we actually fought anything in this? I feel like our solutions have all been very, uh, very pacifist. Mm. We, we fought the boys. We, fought, we, we clapped them. The movie night boys oh, got, yeah. got soup. I mean, they were dead already, mm -hmm. but we, yeah. we extra killed them. We yeah. the boys. Okay, yeah. But um, you found very creative solutions to a lot of your problems. And you know what? Honestly, you, you've approached this with more of a uh, spectrum of solutions, and I think that's very good. I think it's wise. I think it's like an important tool to learn as a, as a blossoming adult. You know? There's not always a, you can't always slash a sword. You can't always stab a dagger. You can't always make bones appear where they shouldn't. <laughs> I can't always do that, but oh, I just yeah. haven't needed to. Yeah, sometimes you shouldn't is the yeah. thing. Um, so yeah, you, you see Snow Cone has, uh, has vanished into the sunset. You hear their beautiful <laughs> as they disappear. You do notice a couple of these like glowing magical sprinkles that were scattered within Snow Cone's coat. These special sprinkles are still lying on the ground. Um, and they look really good. Mm. Those look really good. Yeah. Do you want to eat them? <laughs> no, I think I'm done eating okay. random things. Uh, I'll let my friends try it first, make sure I don't turn into something make sure else. To, make sure to gram them first. I'm sure mm. they look cool. Oh, yeah, they, they look very look cool. cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gina puts them in like the, the best positioning to catch the light right. Definitely. You know, and you want to get the, the good angle. Right. And then I turn to Lexi and say, Lexi, take a picture of this. Right, you don't have an account. Right? Yeah, I don't have <laughs> Could you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, tag? I'll, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a pic. Are, are we still going with, uh, with, with Bottle Girl? You know what? I think let's go with Trombone Epiphany. Trombone Epiphany. Trombone Epiphany. I make a new account for Trombone oh, shit. Epiphany because I don't think Insta existed when we were in uh, sophomore year. No, definitely yeah. not. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Yep. Uh, strangely enough, uh, the username is available. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so you, you plug in uh, Trombone Epiphany. Um, of course, you are offline still because of the cell service. Oh, yeah. So, so it's just... just lo <laughs> <laughs> how, how's, uh, how's Insta loading, uh, Gregory? <laughs> Insta loading. Mm, eh, eh, eh. For you, I will do it. You see Gregory Hamilton just looks really intense. Uh, scrunches up his face, gets extremely hot, and then a beam of light shoots into the sky. Wow, uh, he's doing piercing it. Piercing through the clouds. Yeah. Calling down a satellite. Yeah. And you get an Instagram connection. Oh, yeah, let's take a pic. <laughs> Great. Hashtag yummy. Good one, good hashtag. Yeah. It gets... <laughs> Four likes. Oh, wow. sweet. It's yeah. a brand new account that's not bad. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, you don't know who these people are that just <laughs> found it. Probably uh, trombone enthusiasts. Gotta be. Um, so, do you wanna like maybe take a lick at this giant sprinkle? Yeah, I'd yeah, love I'll, to. I'll take a lick, All for right. sure. Okay, uh, so you, you lick this giant sprinkle. Hey, can I get one more of those? Ugh. Great. Oh, I wish I had one less. <laughs> and can that's Can you erase acting. that from my brain? <laughs> <That's> acting. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm RPing. Mm -hmm. I'm doing some real good it's RP. A deep RP. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh I can taste. Mm. Love to see no, it. Stop. Mm. Stop. Mm. Stop. Mm. He's so, he's so deep in it. All of the goodwill we generated <laughs> by the, having Karina on is just you know we're just, back to zero. Yeah. Just bashed against the rocks. Yeah. Um, you lick this giant sprinkle, and you feel this draconic energy swell up in you, and it gives you kind of like a new purpose, a new zest. You feel. Energize. I feel zesty? You do feel zesty, but in like a zest for life, not really in like a gazpacho zest. Actually, you know what? A little bit of a gazpacho zest. Yes, there nice. you go. Good. Uh, and how this translates in our game is that you gain two skill points. <gasps> wow. You are going to be double leveling before My this final God. battle. Um, and that does include uh, Parker as well. Uh, Parker's Robinson. level seven. Parker's level seven? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting because at level seven, Parker gets 
a sketch craft ability. <gasps> mm -hmm. Parker, hand pass it over, that hand it down. Over, hand it over, hand it over. Uh, and if you wouldn't mind reading that out loud. Seventh inning sketch, <laughs> sketch craft ability. Powered by sheer force of will and the desire to improve, your familiar evolves into a new form. Play this card during a session to draw their new appearance. Oh boy. Oh my <laughs> god. Incredible. Yes. Now, we can either do that drawing now if we want, while you're kind of in this lull before uh, you know, you approach all hands for the final battle, or you can save it for next time. Oh, I'm getting Parker up now. You ready for it? Oh yeah. All right. We're uh, ending on a Parker. We're ending on, on a Parker. Parker. Cool. Uh, yeah, pull up a canvas and let's uh Let's bust out a Parker. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, I definitely want Parker uh, to keep being a big baseball boy. Absolutely. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you what do you guys what are you thinking? Should I'm, she stay cat? I'm imagining just a big man's body with a <laughs> handsome cat's face. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that yeah, and I think you still want a little bit of the theatric. Like, because Parker does love musicals as well. Yes. Right. Um, right. So maybe like a little mustache. A little mustache, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, people who love musicals often have mustaches. Yeah, tiny little like pencil mustaches. A little pencil mustache for this cat. We're maybe. talking about like somebody who would play uh, Gaston at a Disney theme park. Oh yeah, yeah. that's fun. That's yeah. the vibe I want. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 Right. This is already great. <laughs> Holy shit. Confident and strong. Oh, little Parker. Oh, you're Mr. Parker now. Man, all the furries out there thought we weren't going to take care of them. We got you. We got you. We got your back. Parker's <laughs> coming through, baby. Oh, also, could maybe this new form of Parker be like reading a voter guide? <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Just like, this new Parker is hyper literate. This, this new Parker is trying, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. They've realized their weaknesses mm -hmm. and they're, they're trying to improve. This new Parker is literally an awoken familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This new Parker is woke as shit. <laughs> Should Parker still wear a, a baseball outfit, you think? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's real tight. Yeah, oh, very yeah. tight. I think it's real Highlighting tight, the muscles. Mm -hmm. Form-fitting, but it looks good. It's not, right. you know, it's not, it's not too tight. Yeah. It's fitted. Mm. Maybe the sleeves are off. Yeah. Oh, that's the sleeves fun. are off. Oh, whoa. That doesn't feel refined to me. Okay. No. But it's a bit of a powerful energy. <laughs> right. It is that. I want um, some drama in here. Wow. Yeah. Parker. Mystery Parker. I know that Parker is not a Pokemon, mm -hmm. but I just keep imagining this one going, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Emerges from the smoke. <laughs> Parker. Parker, Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Parker Par. <laughs> but then after that, he's like, how's it going, guys? Yeah, no, seriously, though. <laughs> what do we have to here? Oh, yeah, I talk now. We yeah, talk, I talk, talk now. now. <laughs> hey, I said some shit before, and I'm not proud of it. <laughs> Just want to get ahead of that. Been really working on myself lately. <laughs> Time to invest some skill points in me. <laughs> if I ever hurt you, I deeply apologize. <laughs> Oh, Parker. I've been reading some manifestos online. <laughs> the good kind, though. <laughs> wow. He's got like the body of a fencer. <laughs> Lithe and strong. Lithe and strong, poised like a piston. I mean, what is baseball if not fencing with the ball? Uh huh. You've never been more right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like how in fencing, after you hit someone mm -hmm. with your sword, you do have to do a big run around. Yeah. Exactly. It's the footwork angle. It's the footwork, it's yeah. It's the footwork. I hate it when they steal bases in fencing. <laughs> so while Roxa is kind of having this commune with Parker, um, I, I imagine that, like, you know, there's probably a ritual involved in this awakening, so this is taking a little bit of time. Sure. Like, I think, you know, Roxa probably checks in with Parker at the end of a battle. Um, and then Parker kind of communicates to, to Roxa. He's learned, think, he said he learned some things, mm -hmm, you know, really. Yeah. It finally clicked. There was that one sentence. It was that sentence of, I'm still really dumb, but the friendship warmed my heart. It finally clicked in him. It's he true. was like, you take care of your friends. Yeah. Then he leveled up. No matter how dumb you are. Yeah. Yeah. You can, you can still, be. You, you can still get better. Yeah. You can be dumb as hell, but still a good person. Yeah. 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 That's what we all strive for here at Droppy. Yeah. I would say. <laughs> all of us being dumb as hell. Yeah. Um, speaking of uh, new familiars, uh, 
how is Parker the Pony doing? As soon as Parker the Pony became a living, talking pony, uh -huh. I, Yeah, break I, me off some of that voice again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tough battle. <laughs> <laughs> Mind if I get a lick of that there sprinkle? My first reaction was, Jesus Christ, no, not this <laughs> shit, come on. <laughs> the only thing I liked about you was that you opened bottles and shut the fuck up. I can still open bottles. You got a bottle for me to open? I don't want to deal with this at all. <laughs> Gina's been ignoring Parker ever since the transformation. <laughs> how, Parker the Pony. How big is Parker the Pony now? Oh, like Shetland size, I think. That's a perfect size for a halfling mount. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Gina, do you not want Parker no, anymore? No, take him, please, God. Please, <laughs> please I mount, take him. I mount up Whoa! on Parker. There you are. <laughs> Hi, Parker. Hi! I'm Legsy. Hi, Legsy. Nice to meet you. I... Imagine that there will be plenty of bottles to open where we're going. Gosh, I hope so. Oh, you're so fun. <laughs> I just want to talk to you all the time and hear your voice. That would be really nice. Yeah. This is a disaster. <laughs> hey, are you licking sprinkles? Yeah, do you want to lick a sprinkle? Oh, of course. Let me lick that sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good lick. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> Get in here and lick the sprinkle with me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Rox. I'm not looking. Rox has turned away. She's Gina. also she's doing this. She's like, oh, yeah, Parker, let's just keep talking. Gina, take some pics of us licking the sprinkle together. Absolutely <laughs> not. Under no circumstances. <laughs> This might be the worst episode of Drawfee. It was good. To ever include our faces. It was good, and then uh, it's, it's and then we firm. ruined it. And then Karina left. This is a, <laughs> it's a face disaster. This whole thing. Um, so, Rox, you're uh, you're not going to need uh, any of my items for this drawing, right? Um, no, I think I'm I think I'm good. Okay, well in that case, I'm going to use my sketchcraft ability, sticky oh. fingers, to steal another item from the bag. Wonderful. Good thought. Of all the things I was prepared to draw for today's episode, it was not Buff Catman. <laughs> Why not? I, you know? <laughs> Seems fair like question. pretty par for the course. You had yeah. to know that was a possibility. I a possibility? think about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> you have to stop, you can't. <laughs> People are unsubscribing. Uh, People are unsubscribing. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you pick an item out of the yeah. bag? Just in this section, reason for unsubscribing. That that <laughs> shit they did you know. in episode nine of Draga. You know the thing. <laughs> Made it so far in, and then they did that. Don't care how it ends. Don't want to know. Ooh. You want to read that one out? I got the really neat thing. Oh, neat. <sighs> it's that really neat thing you always wanted. If you manage to draw it, and everyone agrees you drew a neat thing, it's yours and aids you in this drawing. If your party is not impressed after you drew the neat thing, it was a fake, and you must draw it messing up your picture in some way. And that comes from uh, the Discord user Nate Digadogity. Thank you, Nate Digadogity. Nate Digadogity. One more time. Nate, Nate Digadogity. Thank Wonderful. you, Nate Digadogity. Thank you. All right, yeah, that's a fun one. That's a neat thing. Yeah. Um, let's check in on this cat. A uh, pose. Okay. Oh, what's? Ooh. We're going for a. He's reading a pamphlet. Uh, <laughs> that he's been handed about perhaps a, a candidate in his, mm -hmm. his area. A local, yeah, well, you know, prob yeah. Probably local government. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I would think it should be just like a voter guide so you can, you can get to know what all the candidates stand <laughs> for and then uh, you can make your own decision, but like you should, you should be making it based off of the actual information available. You yeah. Know? yeah. Well, don't get, don't get something learned. politicized. Absolutely. You know, you, you don't want the, the actual campaign stuff. No, sure. There, there are resources out there mm -hmm. for any, any new voters out there. <laughs> Thanks, this is Nathan. Nathan's <laughs> As Nathan was talking, I was picturing this cat walking into a, a voter booth and being like, I know who to vote for. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's just fine with it. <laughs> oh, I think that um, Parker is going to need a little I voted sticker. Look yeah. at this. You, you've chosen a, uh, a very powerful posture for Parker, though. He's refined now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really just up straight, shoulders back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One leg just kind of hoisted. Yeah, you Well, he's been paying it. attention to, uh, to Rox's, you know, tips about uh, strength, you know, 
the the body strength mm -hmm. and how to how to best get that. And he knows that it's a lot of stretching, so he's kind of stretching out the back, you know, stretching out the shoulders, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. trying to stay nice and limber. Yeah, absolutely. So Regina, um, your familiar has left you. Uh, Thank God. <laughs> you seem okay with it, though. I just for once mm -hmm. would like to not be surrounded by really lame dipshits making dumb noises out of their mouths. And I Legsy see. and Rocks are great. Yeah. Surround me with them all day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Gina. I quit. <laughs> I quit the show. Put it up, put it up, put it up, put it up, put it up. Ah, oh, she's riding around. <laughs> yeah. Doing little circles. <laughs> Rocks is great. Surround me with rocks all day. <laughs> I got you. So what would your, I mean, here's the thing, Regina. You are capable of creating a familiar at will. Um, yeah. what, what is the ideal familiar for you? I think for me, it would be something that enhances my own coolness. Okay. So maybe like a hype man sort of familiar. Oh, okay. A skeletal hype man that comes up and's like, here comes Gina! <laughs> and everyone just like goes nuts and starts cheering. Now, that sounds pretty And they're, they're wearing like a cool outfit, right. and like they do like a cool dance around. Why don't you give me a wisdom roll to see if you can summon this familiar? All right, I got 10 wisdom now, wow. so. You're maxed. That's 25. 25 from the earth, bones rise up, swirl around and then clink together in the shape of Bones McGee. Bones McGee, yeah! Uh, Here she comes! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. That's right, Bones <laughs> McGee, oh, hell yes! Can't help but get hype from that. Clear the runway! I'm just strutting, mm -hmm. I'm strutting down. She's strutting! strutting Oh, uh -oh. Gina, you look so cool now. <laughs> I mean, you always look cool, but you look even cooler now. I'm just riding along <laughs> next to you. Uh, Bones McGee whispers, should I kill her? <laughs> no, no, she's cool, she's cool. All right, all right, all right cool. But you can do, try. You ask. <laughs> Just like do some knife tricks. <laughs> you can fucking try. <laughs> Regina will allow you to stay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so now you have Bones McGee, uh, the hype skeleton. <laughs> this is a good day for me. I lost an annoying horse, mm -hmm. and I gained a dope ass skeleton there who loves go. me. You reached within yourself, and you know, after your encounter with Gene, you were feeling a little down about your ability to use your bone magic. But, yeah. Uh, it seems like all you needed was a little backup, a little support. Yeah, that really does make the difference. True. Uh oh. What? Uh oh. That's that's kind of. Uh, oh, that's your thing. Bones. Okay, yeah. we'll work on it. That's we'll my catchphrase. It. That makes me think something's wrong. <laughs> so maybe it's not the best one to yell. Maybe that sounds like, like you pooped your pants. Okay. 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 Yippee! We're getting closer, right, we're getting warmer. Right. We'll workshop. Oh, joy! Euphoria! <laughs> euphoria I like. You like euphoria? Okay. Yeah, let's go with you euphoria. With yeah. How about this, how about this? Epiphany! Trombone epiphany. Trombone epiphany. Yeah! Our band's got a new manager. <laughs> you see Bones McGee pulls out some sort of hideous instrument that doesn't look like a somewhere trombone at all. Uh, it's like weirdly shaped like an oval, and it's got like a little like pull thing on it. It, uh -huh. it doesn't look like a somewhere trombone. It it's looks disgusting. foreign and disgusting. And he plays it, and it goes. Oh wah, 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 wah. God! What? What is that sound? Oh, sorry. And pulls out a somewhere trombone. <laughs> Epiphany. <laughs> this <That's>... rules. <laughs> I'm having a great time. <laughs> Let's check back in on the drawing. Oh, oh, is this the sprinkle? Yep, he's uh, casually uh, leaning on a sprinkle, sitting on another. I love this perfect baseball pose. Like, I feel like I've seen baseball players sit like this. Yeah. It's amazing that you were able to capture that. This is a wonderful drawing. Uh, this is truly Parker realized uh, in his greatest and final form. Uh, Hashtag proud is, of Parker. It proud is of very Parker. wet outside because all the ice, you know. Is oh, melting, it's melting, yeah. 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 Now I think we can proudly say I'm with Parker. I am with Parker I am with now. Parker. Those old ladies are going to be really disappointed. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately. They're going to be like, he got so handsome. That's awesome. And then he's going to be like, I've changed my ways. Mm -hmm. oh. like, what happened? I can't, I can't relate to you anymore. His opinions are garbage now. 
He accepts everyone. <laughs> what I hate this? that. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> He's so flexible and fluid in his thinking. <laughs> Traitor to our country. Traitor. <laughs> um, so yeah, you see Parker stands up and says, let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so ready. I'm so happy. Okay, takes a couple swings. <laughs> Oh, those are fast swings. A tear goes down Roxa's <laughs> face. She's like, I knew it. Roxa, thank you for all you've taught me. Clasp. Clasp. Oh, that's really good. Can we um, so can we just proud. go down the line and just get get a little uh, little catchphrase from each of our new familiars <laughs> okay. from you? <laughs> Absolutely. Just each voice. <laughs> Uh, okay, so um, yeah, we're going down the line. The catchphrase is coming. You all kind of like look to your new familiar, give them a nod. Um, <laughs> Parker the Pony goes, look at good. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Worse every time. Love this guy. Thank you again, Gina. This is a good, this is a good friend. I uh, guess you're welcome. <laughs> um, you see Bones McGee looks at you and of course says, Epiphany! That's the stuff right there, Bones McGee. But this time he adds a little bit of like a rattling noise with his uh, bone mouth. He goes like, Epiphany! Like a maraca almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. You're learning, mm -hmm. improving. And then uh, you see that uh, Parker, uh, the baseball cat, just kind of looks at you and just goes, mm hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> perfect for rocks. Absolutely. We finally have our perfect familiars, one for each of us. Um, the exact correct energy for each of us. <laughs> perfectly matched, yeah. perfectly distributed. I'm an annoying shithead, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you eat, uh, that sprinkles. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> and I love you too. Aw, give him, give him brush his little, little pony hair. Uh, like, yeah, he, he nuzzles your cheek. <laughs> So now that you are flush with familiars, um, and you all seem like you are kind of mentally prepared, uh, do you want to head towards that big vaulted door you see? We've never been more ready, I think. Yeah, let's right. do it. Am I still a fox? <laughs> Half fox? I think the, the fox forms are fading at this point. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, like, your ears are still a little pointy, but they're pointy anyway, so it's not yeah. that weird. Yeah. Roxas, Roxas has her hands back, but she is still trying to paw at her. <laughs> like, she forgets, like, you know, how to use her fingers a little forgets bit. her fingers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your fingernails are still pretty sharp. Oh. Yeah, I, uh, uh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you do still have a tail. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure how to think about this. Um, well, all right. So yeah, you um, you each link arms or hooves with your familiar, <laughs> and you begin walking slowly towards this giant bank vault door. Uh, and as you make your way towards it, uh, the huge circular door <laughs> creaks open, and you see all hands standing inside. <gasps> Your souls have reached astronomical levels of value, and we can wait no longer to add you to our ledger. Um, and as All Hands says this, its body twitches and contorts. Uh. And you see uh, the demon's clothing starts to rip and tear as hundreds of arms burst forth from unknown recesses, and the specter unveils its true form. Oh, oh I love him. <laughs> Ooh. So cool and so scary. Now, come forth and meet the fate for which you have been molded. And in an instant, hundreds of terrible hands <laughs> reach out and grab you on all sides and draw you in to the vault. Ugh. And that's where we'll end our session. 
Oh, man. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Let's go. I love the hand guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good design. Thank you. I it's miss so his, good. I miss his cool outfit, but I like his new form, so, you know? You know what? Hey, this episode was all about form changes. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> all righty. Uh, well, we have one episode left, and I cannot wait for us to take that journey together. But until then, Thank you very much to our players. Thank you so much to Karina Farrick for playing Snow Cone, the Rainbow Sprinkle Dragon. Uh, and of course, thank you all for watching. Y'all, it's time, Game Face is on. Mm. Final episode, let's go. Thank you so much. We're very sorry. Sorry. Friends, are we ready? Yeah. I hope so. We gotta be. Our meeting is long overdue. I shoot him. I think it's lame and dumb, and I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> is he, I thought, is he dead? I think I did a bad. I can't believe we finally did a murder. What? <laughs> what the fuck? You see the fabric of the air begin to rip and tear like wrapping paper. As all hands grabs each of you, everything goes dark.